thing seen a summer. We'll say that. We gotta do a lot of decals. Oh my god, what even is that? That's horrible. Hey guys, it's Andrew the Rag Company and Levi with the Rag Company. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the products that you need to be using first. And second. And third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. And maybe eighth. Possibly a ninth, depending how we're feeling. But today, we're gonna to be using some Stirana Gloss products on this filthy Audi behind us, which I don't believe has been washed in probably a year, maybe. Maybe a year. Maybe. A lot of road trips, a lot of grime, a lot of brake dust. This thing's seen a summer. We'll say that. Many summers. Yeah. If well, that's even summer, but yeah. possible. But anyways, jumping into this, what we want to do today is highlight some of the Starter Glass products and talk about how we like to personally use them here at the Rag Company mm -hmm. between me and Levi, talk about the experience, the sense, and of course the performance of these products as we knock out each individual part of this vehicle. So today, we're doing some decon. We gotta do a lot of decon. A lot. We're gonna yeah. need maybe another bottle of force here. Possibly. So what's Force gonna do for us? Force is gonna be our citrus pre-cleaner. We're gonna be using it not only to remove all those bugs on the front, but yeah. also all that leftover grime from running through storms, yeah. mud, dirt, rain, all that stuff. It's gonna help break all that garbage off the car so that we can rinse it and get it ready for snow. Yeah, so basically, we're gonna try to get some shots just to show you the exact power that Force has on its own with just a pressure washer, right? Without any agitation. Then we're gonna jump through with the Ultra Clay Mint and then show you uh, anything that's left over that needs to be cleaned up. But we're gonna be using a combination of different things, right? We yep. have fuel for the wheels, which is gonna put on a nice show, uh, and it's going to cause those wheels to bleed yep. like crazy. And then we have snow as our uh, snow foam here. We have Mata for a bucket wash. We have uh, Gleer here, which is going to be used with our Ultra Clay Mitt. We're gonna show you a quick little tip trick that you can do with that. And then we're gonna throw on some Parla, clean up the glass, and dress these tires, and make this Audi look significantly better than it does right now. That is gonna be a true fact. That's a, a true test of our abilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into it. All right, so forced and foremost, we're gonna be using forced on all of the bug guts as well as Honestly, it might just be the entire car at this point. So, Force is our citrus pre-cleaner. It's probably one of the strongest and one of our most favorite pre-cleaners that we sell here at the Rag Company. It's, uh, it's absolutely insane. It melts away bugs, it melts away dirt, and I wanna show you the difference between spraying this uh, with the use of a pressure washer versus just using a pressure washer and showing you the differences. So, we're gonna knock out the front bumper over here on the Audi, so I'm thinking, it all looks so horrible. I'm probably just going to do, we'll do the passenger side is probably what we're gonna do over here. So taking force here, you can use this in IK sprayer, you can use this in a foamer, uh, you can dilute it down in the foamer, obviously, uh, if you want to get more coverage out of it. But typically, I just grab it in the bottle in the one liter size and just start laying down the law. So grabbing force, start pre-cleaning all these bug guts. Again, we're gonna do just this left side here. Look, dude, dude, look at this. Look at it. Look at it melt. I'm telling you, this stuff is the real deal, dude. It's, it's insane. Now, this product is safe on coatings, but like Jack says from Cerner Gloss, if the coating's worth its weight, it should probably be all right. Um, but if it's a cheap coating or if it's like a, a wax, it's probably going to start degrading the finish just a little bit. Uh, sealants hold up okay, in our opinion. Uh, but yeah, if it's a bad coating, this may harm it. But if it's a decent coating, it shouldn't do anything. All right, pressure washer in hand. We're gonna start laying down some water here on the front end of this. I'm gonna do the whole front end just to show you the difference between the side that I used forced on and the side that I didn't use forced on. And we're gonna kind of wrap around over there to the front fender and that mirror that I sprayed as well.
amazing. Am I right? It's insane. So uh, yeah, if that doesn't uh, speak for itself, then I don't know what does. I mean, that's a clean car, right? Okay, maybe not clean. We're gonna go back through and obviously contact wash it, but that is crazy impressive. Insane. All right, let's wrap around to the side over here. Bugs be gone. All right, this dirt is on here pretty good. I think we might need some more forest. So as always, I seem to get stuck with doing the wheels. I don't think Anthony likes doing it, but I've got a little secret up my sleeve. We're gonna be using Fuel and Forced. Let's write a one-two punch. Now, as you know, Forced is a citrus pre-cleaner and Huel is an iron remover. Now, here's the thing that you probably don't know. Huel actually has a little bit of Forced in it, which allows them to play very nicely together. So, that means not only does it clean as well as remove a bunch of iron and grime, but it means when you add a little Forced, it kind of supercharges it. So we're just gonna give it a little spritz down here that on there get this stuff to where it can start eating and breaking and dissolving all this brake dust and grime and everything that's been just accumulating and baking on these wheels for the last year and again we'll give a little give a little spritz just to help it out and let that do its magic as we hit the rest of these wheels I think he thinks it's too much work sometimes. I don't think he doesn't like getting his hands dirty, you know what I mean? Not a true detailer like myself. He's got soft, small hands. All right, so as you can see, we made a little quick work of that. So now, we need to add some soap to this and actually scrub the surface of the vehicle. So, let's get to that. All right, so now it's the moment I've been waiting for. It's time to lay down some of that beautiful, delicious foam, but today, I'm gonna show you a quick little tip, something that I personally enjoy doing in my own home when I foam. And that is the combination of Sternogloss Mata and Sternogloss Snow to create what I call coconut earth. What this is, is a combination of Mata and Snow inside the PF22 foam cannon. So Snow is going to be our kind of base foundation of that beautiful snow foam. And then Mata is going to provide a little bit more lubrication and of course that awesome earthy scent. So for this, we're gonna take the PF22, a little bit of water in it, and we're gonna lay down some of that snow inside the PF22. I'm not really measuring it, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm kind of going mostly off of color. Another little squeeze, and that looks about right. Now we're gonna take our Mata here. Again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I've done this enough times now to where I kind of know what I'm looking for. Bam. Oh my God. It's a revelation. It's something amazing. It's something that you've never tried before, but if you have these two products, mix this together, scream, coconut earth whenever you foam it and watch your neighbors run, sprint to your house to ask you if you can wash their car next. All right, let's get this thing mixed up and lay down some of that beautiful foam. Coconut Earth! Oh yeah! This is 
my favorite kind of bubble bath. So relaxing. <laughs> All right, so you guys know the drill here. Top to bottom contact wash, ultra wash pad, coconut earth soap. We're gonna lay down the law here. Maybe Levi will join me if he's not still mad at me about the wheels. Let's see. got a little wet in here after spraying multiple rounds of cleaner and and water and more cleaner and more water and some soap uh, eventually I had to throw these bad boys on which you know am I ready for a farm possibly am I ready for some detailing possibly but anyway the clay process what are we doing for this so we're gonna be breaking out the ultra clay mitt and pair it with sterling gloss glear now how I'm gonna do this is that I've rinsed the vehicle off, right? So there's some residual water in some places, but for the most part, it kind of has a self-drying effect because there's literally no protection on this at all whatsoever. The water is just kind of disappearing and not in the good way. So we're gonna take our ultra clay mitt here, which has been used before, so I don't need to break it in. We just store it in here whenever we're not using it. So we have our perforated clay on this side. We have just a microfiber material on the other. I only like to use the clay side with this particular mitt. So with our ultra clay scrubber, we have the Jersey bug scrubber material on one side, which is helpful for bugs. Obviously we've addressed that with the use of force, so we don't have to use that. So we're just gonna be claying today with Gleer. So coming over here to the car. So Ultra Mitt, spray some glare here, glare across the hood, taking this and start gliding it. Ooh, that's feeling good. That's feeling real good. Now, one thing I like about using glare over, let's just say like a rinse list that we normally use as our clay lubricant, is that this provides significantly more lubrication in the sense of actual like lubrication it feels very slick it feels very smooth a rinseless never has quite that feel i mean it's enough lubrication to obviously do the job safely but this kind of takes it to that next level so if you've never used a dedicated clay lubricant try it you can't tell me this doesn't look goofy Oh my God, what even is that? Oh my God. That's horrible. All right, so now that Anthony has gotten most of the car dried, there are gonna be a couple runs and drips. So that's why we're gonna use the FTW. Why? Because it's really, really thirsty of a towel and it pairs well with spray sealants. It glides over the surface, it absorbs a lot of water and it absorbs some of the product too. So you don't have to feel so bad if you spray a little too much. And on this car, I think it's gonna be so thirsty, it's gonna need a lot of Parla. So, First things first, we'll give it a little shake and you literally just miss the surface. See what I'm doing here? Look how easy this is. Now, I don't recommend that you get ahead of yourself, but you give a couple sprays onto the towel and you literally just wipe it in. Wow, look at that. You should feel that, Jimmy. It's super slippery. <laughs> Let's leave it like that. All right, 
right, so we are down to the last few finishing touches of this detail. And so we need to clean the glass. And we also need to dress the tires. So Levi's finishing up that last bit of Parla there. So join me for some glass cleaning. For this, we're using Sterna Gloss Glass with one S because two would be too crazy. So when it comes to glass clean, especially after using Parla, Parla doesn't necessarily streak the glass, but Levi, I can kind of see some areas where he may have, you know, spread that towel around a little bit too uh, frivolously. So I'm gonna clean up his work on the glass. Quick spray of glass there, quick spray onto the towel. We'll go ahead and box this out here, up and down. Quick flip. And that looks good. Knock out the mirror while I'm here. Back window, same thing. Now the FTW, again, a towel that can do it all. We used it for Parla, we're using it for the glass cleaning. It just feels so dang good. Mm. Levi's shaking up that Gumi back there. Oh yeah, look at, getting look that Gumi shaking look up. Getting it ready, we're gonna use a little black app, a little Gumi. Finishing touches. Get on the tires. This glass cleaner, one thing I really like about it is that it spreads really, really nicely. And I don't think I've ever had this glass cleaner streak. Genuinely, I mean that. It flashes off really fast and just has a nice little scent to it. And in comparison to our other glass cleaners that we have, I don't know, I like to reach for this one often. It's my favorite, it's the one I choose the most. Is it, the yeah. one that you choose the most? Now, talking about Gumi, we gotta oh. get these tires shined up. So, still, still in my spotlight, I see, okay. Literally, it's like a lotion. You can literally just squirt it right onto an applicator pad and just apply it to a tire. Now this tire is a little damp, but that's okay. We're gonna put this on. Now you can use the ultra tire brush as well, where you can put it in the bristles, especially if you've got maybe a more aggressive tire or an off-road tire, and you can apply it and add it on there that way. I just like using the black app. Now, the other cool thing about Gumi is you can use it on other plastics. So anything that you wanna add a little protection to, say like this back wiper blade plastic, is very, very dry and thirsty. You can add a little bit on there. What we're gonna do is let that sit. We'll come back and we'll hit that with a dry microfiber towel. Now we've added a little moisture back into that plastic, help protect it. If we wanted to, we could do all the rubber around the windows as well. This product's super versatile. It'll handle all the plastics and rubber on the exterior of the vehicle. So there you go the one product that set the bar for this entire wash. Amazing. The forced product. May the forced be with you. The first. The first and forced. only. <laughs> so forced here is really, I mean, it set the stage for this full wash because without this, I have no idea how long it would have took to cut through all that grime, all mm -hmm. those bug guts and everything like that. But anyways, guys, we just wanna make this video going over uh, some of the Sterner Gloss products and obviously highlighting how powerful Forced is as a citrus pre-cleaner for really any detail. I mean, any level of detail, whether it's just you know some light tar, some light bug guts, some things like that, yeah. or if it's actually as bad as it was in this case with the Audi. And today. it's highly dilutable. So for those of you that do take care of your cars, you can still add it and utilize it in your day-to-day -day operation. Yep, I use it on my tires and this is my main tire scrubber and degreasing product that I use, which, I mean, in my opinion, it's probably one of the best that we sell. So uh, anyways, hopefully you guys learned something new today, maybe some other tips and tricks here within the Sterna Gloss line, and give that coconut earth a try on your next detail. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for the after shots. See ya. This needs to get out of here.